So television viewers, you get your Bibles ready and radio listeners. And you that are watching over the internet, you are watching and listening to the greatest religious program in America. Amen. It is the greatest religious program, bar none. Doesn't matter what religious program you watch, the truth of God is the greatest religious program, not just in America, but in the world. That's right. And the reason why we say that is because if you look at religious programs today, Jesus is taught more than one way. That's right. Jesus is taught in truth and Jesus is taught in lie. That's right. In so many ways, Jesus is taught. That's right. Brother Paul teaches us this. In the book of Philippians. Listen good. In the book of Philippians chapter 1 and at verse 14. All right. And many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Mm -hmm. Some indeed preach Christ. Some indeed preach Christ. Even of envy. Even of envy. And strife. That's a competitive spirit. That's right. That's when men preach Jesus out of jealousy. Mm -hmm. Give chapter and verse again. In Philippians 1, now we're at verse 15. Men preach Jesus out of jealousy. In other words, they do it to compete right. with other men. That's right. Jealousy sets in them because their method of preaching Jesus is not bringing them no results. That's right. Hmm. Are you listening? That's right. Yet they talk Jesus, mm -hmm. but no results is coming along with the usage of the name. That's right. Nothing is wrong with the name, mm -hmm. but something is wrong in the method. The way that the name is being used. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. To better understand it, we bear witness that God can do anything. Mm -hmm. If God don't heal you, that doesn't mean he can't do it. No. So I want to say what the book says, ask and it shall be given. Mm -hmm. Seek and you shall find. Amen. Knock. It shall be open. Those scriptures are true. Mm -hmm. Then he says to everyone that asks, Receive he receiveth, and to he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knock, it shall be open. That's true. It's true. But there's a way to ask. There's a way. That's right. For Jesus come back and say, if ye abide in my word, mm -hmm. and my word abide in you, Genesis. then Genesis. ask. That's right. So it isn't that God cannot do these things. Mm -hmm. But one must evaluate their method or their approach towards God. That's right. Viewer. We want to take you to school this morning before you go to church and hypocrite. Amen. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't go pointing to yourself. <laughs> we want to talk to you that just got home tonight rushing, getting off your coat. Mm. You just turned the channel on. Here we are. That's right. I'm talking to you. That's right. While you got, you're about to strike your match that lights your cigarette. Mm -hmm. Put it out. Amen. Sit down. Amen. And then ask yourself. What did you go to church today for? That's right. My question to you is, how is Jesus being preached in your religion? Amen. It's good teaching, man. We want to talk about Jesus. Jesus. That's right. In religion. Mm hmm Jesus take on many forms mm -hmm. in history mm -hmm. Jesus takes on many forms mm -hmm. 
He takes on many forms according to the theology of men. That's right. Talk to us, brother. Because men have put Jesus in places where he is not. He is not. For example, the Mormons said Jesus wandered around America. That's right. They placed Jesus where he was not. That's right. For Jesus' ministry was temporary. Temporary. Mm -hmm. He went into all the world, yet he did not go into all the world. That's right. Let me say it again. That's right. He went into all the world, mm -hmm. yet he did not go into all the world. That's right. He did not go into all the world physically because he had a temporary yeah. ministry. Mm -hmm. But he went into all the world in power and in name and he was carried there carried. through the apostles. That's right. That's right. He told his apostles, oh, yeah. go ye into all the world. Well, someone said I, that don't mean Jesus went. Jesus said, "He that heareth you, heareth me, hear me." That's right. When Paul went to Spain, hmm. Jesus stepped there. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. When Peter was among the Italians, mm -hmm. Jesus stepped there. That's right. Yes, sir. When Paul preached in Greece mm -hmm. among the Epicureans and the Stoics, right. Jesus yes. stepped there. Mm -hmm. So the apostles were male men. That's right. That's Lord right. Take God. Mm -hmm. They carried the letter. And then they had the spirit in them mm -hmm. that gave them the ability to open up the letter. That's right. And show men the contents of the letter. Mm -hmm. So physically, the man Jesus right. didn't go into all the world. That's right. But spiritually, spiritually. the message That's right. of Jesus mm -hmm. went into all the world. Go ye into all the world. Listen. In Mark chapter 16 and at verse 15. Which Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do you wish her? That's right. There's a lot of Jesus. Lot. Mm -hmm. According to history, there was a slave ship called Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Mormons have a Jesus. Right. Some areas of Islam hmm. have a Jesus. Mm hmm. But Jesus the Christ, Christ is different from all other Jesus. That's Jesus right. is a common name among the Hispanic community, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is a common name among the Arab speaking brothers, Esau. That's and right. some pronounce it Esau mm -hmm. as Jacob and Esau. Right. There was a discussion came up among the Hebrew Israelites about us preaching Jesus. Hmm. And they got the scripture that says Esau is the end of the world. Right. And many thought it meant that Jacob brother that mean that he would be the end of the world and what religion have did was took that and said that means that all Caucasian brothers will come to an end mm. Mm. you see why I ask what Jesus Which, amen. are you preaching about mm -hmm. in Arabic Jesus is pronounced Esau or Isa so when it says Jesus is the end of the world or Esau is the end of the world that's not talking about a race no 
That's right. That's talking about the authority that Jesus had for Paul said mm -hmm. he shall put all things under his feet. Under his feet. Under his feet. For he mm -hmm. must reign. That's right. So Jesus being the end of, of the world. world. And he said unto me. Listen. In the book of 2nd Esther chapter 6 and at verse 8. What is it? And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac. When, from Abraham to Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born When Jacob him, and Esau was born of him. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Yes. For Esau is the end. Esau is the end. Of the world. Of the world. And Jacob. And Jacob. Is the beginning. Is of the it, beginning. Of it that followeth. Of it that follow. Holy. Right. Esau is the end of the world. End of the world. And Jacob is the beginning. beginning. The, the beginning of it that follows. Of it. Of it, it what? That world. That's right. That follows. That follows. See, one world going to end. That's right. But another world going to follow. Gonna follow. That's right. Well, how is Jacob is that world that follow? Who comes from Jacob? Mm -hmm. Israel. Israel. That's right. How many houses of Israel is it? Two. Two. That's right. One in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. The other is the church. That's right. One is a former house. Right. The other is a latter house. That's right. One is circumcised in the flesh. Mm -hmm. The other is circumcised in the spirit. To both the houses of Israel. To what? To both the houses of Israel. Give chapter and verse. In Isaiah chapter 8 and at verse 14. And he shall be for a sanctuary. He shall be. God shall be for a sanctuary. But for, but a, for, but a, for a stone, stone of stumbling. A stumbling. And for a rock of a Offense. To how many houses of Israel? To both the houses of Israel. Both the houses. You have the former house and the latter house. That's right. Jesus was in the Old Testament. That's right. Yes, he was. Walking among the prophets. That's right. He was the teacher of Abraham mm -hmm. and the teacher of Isaac. Amen. And the teacher of Jacob. That's right. He taught to Musa or Moses. Mm -hmm. He demonstrated his power to Enoch. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. Go ahead. So I say, what do you mean? Mary wasn't back there. That's true. That's true. But Jesus was. That's right. That's right. For Christ was in in the prophets. The prophets in Second Peter chapter one and at verse twelve. Listen. Searching what? Searching what? Or what manner of time? Or what manner of time? The spirit. What of nature? The spirit. What nature? The spirit. What nature was back there? The spirit. The spirit of who? Of Christ. There was a spirit in Jesus that had a title. That's right. Yes, it was. Christ is not the name of Jesus. That's right. Christ is the title of God and the work, the work of Jesus. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. Christ is a title. Mm -hmm. Christ means anointed. That's right. Anointing. Mm -hmm. When you say Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that means anointed one. That's right. But when you just say Christ, that means anointing. That's it. But when you say Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. you got Savior and work. And work. Go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. Savior and work. That's right. Jesus functioned by the Spirit of Christ. Yes, he did. Didn't he do it? The Spirit of the Lord. Did you hear what Jesus said? In the book of St. Luke, chapter 4 and verse 18. Listen at what Jesus said. The Spirit of the Lord. Christ. That's right. Go mm -hmm. ahead, brother. Christ, the Spirit of the Lord, where is he located? Is upon me. You see, Christ anointed Jesus. Because he hath anointed me. Christ anointed Jesus. That's right. The Spirit of the Lord, yeah. Yeah. the Spirit of Christ, mm -hmm. the Spirit mm -hmm. of God, mm -hmm. the Spirit of Jehovah, the Spirit that was in Jesus. It, that's it. You see, listen, viewers, there was a Spirit in Jesus. That's right. That was eternal, mm -hmm. everlasting, mm -hmm. not begotten. That's right. Go ahead, brother. 
The spirit in Jesus was not begotten. No. Jesus the man was begotten. That's right. That's right. I want to say, well, that don't explain what you just said. Jesus was back in the prophets. Mm -hmm. He was in a different location when he was back there. Right. He was in them. In the prophets. Which was in them. Listen at this. Back in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 11. Listen. Searching what or what manner of time. Searching what or what manner of time. The Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of Christ. Which was in them. Which was in them. Did signify. Did signify. When it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ. Hold it. The Spirit of Christ was in the prophets. Was in them. To testify about Christ's suffering. <laughs> That's right. Spirit don't suffer. That's right. That's right. The Spirit don't suffer. Amen. But the Spirit of Christ got in the prophets mm -hmm. to testify Beforehand. about the sufferings of Christ. of Christ. So there will be a nature that was designed to suffer. That's right. And there will be a nature mm -hmm. that won't suffer. That's right. There will be a nature that will protect the suffering nature. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Go ahead, brother. So here is Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. In the wilderness. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul said that rock. Mm -hmm. In second in that first Corinthians. Rock. That's right. Chapter 10. That followed them. Mm -hmm. That rock. And that rock. Listen at this. In First Corinthians chapter 10, we're at verse 4. I want to show you that Jesus was in the Old Testament mm -hmm. without blood. Without flesh, that's right. Without bone, right. And didn't have a mother, that's right. That's right. But he was dwelling among the prophets. Yes, he was. Listen, viewer. First Corinthians chapter ten and at verse four. What is it? And did all drink the same spiritual drink? Did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock. They drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Uh, can I listen? Notice it says the rock that followed them. That followed them. Followed them. That's right. It ain't talking about a rock that's on the earth. No. No, no. A rock that's on the earth don't roll around with you when you're traveling. That's right. You got to find out who is the rock. That's right. Then you'll find out who was following them. That's right. He says that rock that, that followed, followed them. them was was christ. christ that's right that rock that followed them was christ that's right the in, prophet said in deuteronomy chapter 32 and at verse 4 says what he is the rock he is the rock get in at verse 33 at, at verse 30 verse 33 listen deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 33 come on son their vine is the point be where you're at go back to where you are he is the rock Give me the verse up above that. Back at verse 3. All right. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. Who? The name of the Lord. That, that's the subject. The Lord. I will publish the name of the I Lord. I will publish the Lord's name. Ascribe ye greatness. Ascribe ye greatness. Unto our God. Unto who? Unto our God. Now the subject. Yes. Notice. The name of God is not mentioned here. No. No, no. It said the Lord. That's not his name. No, no. Go ahead. Bro. That's his title. That's right. It said God. That's not his name. That's right. That's his title to establish. He's the almighty, the all-knowing, having right. no beginning of days, no end of life, and have no relatives. That's right. That's right. Lord mm -hmm. and God. What I, else? I will publish the name of the Lord. I will publish the name of the Lord. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He who he all right the he is the lord mm -hmm. and the he is god that's right he is the rock it didn't say he is a rock he is the rock the rock i let you know god is solid that's right go ahead brother mm -hmm. go ahead. he's not flexible no he's not unstable that's right He's sound. He is the rock. He is the rock. His work. His work. Is perfect. Is complete. For all his ways all are judgment. All his ways are judgment. A God of truth. A God. Look at how God is talking about himself. A God of truth. A God of truth. And without iniquity. And without sin. Just. Just. And right. And right. Is he. Is he. He is the rock. That same God. Go ahead, that brother. same Lord. Go ahead. Is the rock. He he is the rock. He is the rock. And the Apostle Paul said what? And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. 
and that rock was Christ. That's where you get Jesus mm -hmm. and the Old Testament. That's right. The rock mm -hmm. was Christ. That, rock that was means Christ. that Israel was guided by a firm spirit. That's right. The prophets was guided by a firm, solid, solid holy, spirit. righteous, infallible spirit. That's right. Now, viewer, God wanted his will to be known in an infallible manner. Mm -hmm. All the prophets mm -hmm. had sin. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Go ahead, brother. All of them. All of them. All the prophets had sin. That's right. As it is written. Listen at this. In the book of Romans now, chapter 3 and at verse 10. Go to God. As it is written. It is written. There, it is written. It is written. There is none righteous. There is none righteous. No. No. Not, not one. None of them. There is none that understand. None understand. There is none that seeketh none after that God. None that seek after God. They are all gone Now here you had the prophets born in the world with sin, shaped into iniquity, and all they can do is go through the formality. That's right. Atoning for sins, mm -hmm. offering up sacrifices, mm -hmm. which was an example to rid themselves of sin. That's right. But, but none of the prophets yes. was perfect enough right. to redeem nobody. That's right. Which Jesus ahead, brother. is your savior. Mm. That's a good question, brother. Which Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, if you made your Jesus the second person of the Godhead, that's right. He is not a savior. He's not a savior. That's right. If you made, because Jesus taught us, mm -hmm. many mm -hmm. shall come in my name, in my saying, name. I am they Christ. Are Christ. I am Christ. That's right. And shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. Now, hold it. Saying that I am Christ is beyond actually saying I'm Jesus. That's true. Saying I am Christ also consists of preaching in the name of Jesus. That's right. So many come in his name. Mm, take heed. Declaring that they are Christ. Right. You can declare you are Christ by not saying you are actually Jesus. That's true. But you're saying you represent him. That's right. That's right. That's right. You represent him. Mm -hmm. Viewer and preacher. Go ahead, brother. In order for you to properly represent Jesus, mm -hmm. then your teaching cannot deviate mm -hmm. from his. No, nope. no, it can't. Your works cannot contradict his. That's right. That's right. Jesus, the same spirit that worked through the Messiah mm -hmm. must work through you. That's right. In order for your works to be recognized by heaven. That's right. Jesus will not cause no one to do something today that is in contradiction of what the prophets and the apostles done yesterday. That's right. That's right. So when you tell the people, Jesus told me thus and such and such, and yet the language of your Jesus is not in the book, right. then your Jesus is a liar. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. What Jesus? That's right. Are you serving? Which one? Mm-hmm. Because the devil know the real Jesus. Yes, he does. That's he right. said, Jesus, mm, I, know. I know. I know. Paul, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. But who are you? Who are you? That's right. Who are you? That's right. That made Jesus the second person of the Godhead. Godhead. Go ahead. Who are you? Go ahead. That made Jesus marry to Martha. Mm. Who are you? My Lord. That made Mary Jesus' greatest disciple. That's right. That's Talk right. to me. Go ahead. See, this is illegitimate, illegitimate. history. Yeah. 
yeah. where they try to make Jesus into something that the Bible don't make him. That's right. According to areas of religious history, mm -hmm. they lie and said Mary was the greatest of all his apostles. Oh, oh Lord. That's history. That's a lie out That's of a hell. lie. That's right. That's right. Why Jesus told them. Mm -hmm. Or rather, his mother said in reference to him, whatever he saith. Whatever he saith unto you, do it. Whatever he said, get busy. That's right. In St. John chapter so 2. So what Jesus, mm -hmm. viewers, who you have? Which one? Do you have a European Jesus? Hmm. Blonde haired, blue eyed, and pale skin. That's right. Do you have a Caribbean Jesus? Hmm. Brown skin and brown eyes and dreadlocks. That's right. That's right. Jesus mm -hmm. skin tone mm -hmm. had no importance no. to salvation. No, no, no. Jesus lifestyle, teaching, conduct, mm -hmm. who and what he represent, that was the primary factor. That, that's right. Coming to link man mm -hmm. to God. That's right. What was Jesus? A living, breathing, umbilical cord. Yes, he was. Linking man to God. That's right. That's right. The quote, Jesus Christ is God. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. About that. Mm -hmm. The quote is correct. Right. The analogy is wrong. That's right. God, he's not begotten. No. no. God, he have no wife. Mm -hmm. God have no mother. No mother. God have no father. No father. God have no sisters. That's right. God don't have no brothers. No. God don't worry about eating. No, no. God don't need to drink. Mm -hmm. God don't pray. That's God right. don't fast. No, no, no. Well, Pastor Jennings, Jesus done all those things. Mm -hmm. So please, how can you explain Jesus Christ is God? God. Mm -hmm. Before you talk about the man. Right. You first got to trace the name. That's right. That's right. The name was here before the man was. That's right. That's right. Before the man was begotten. begotten. That's right. The name was here. In the book of St. Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. Listen. And when, listen. Mm -hmm. Listen good. Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. What is it? And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child. What? His name. What? When eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child. Not for the circumcising of God. No, of the child. You don't circumcise a spirit. That's right. Spirit have no foreskin. No. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Let's quote Jesus Christ is God. Mm -hmm. We want to explain it, dissect it. Mm -hmm. Because religion lied on him. Yeah. You said Mary is the mother of God. God ain't got a mother. No mother, that's right. That's right. You said that baby was God. God never was a baby. No. No. Not God. Not God. That's right. Listen. And when eight days were accomplished. When eight days was accomplished. For the circumcising of the child. For the circumcising of the child. Of the child. Mm -hmm. His name. His was, name. Was called Jesus. Was called Jesus. Which was so named of the angel. Uh -huh. before, before. He was conceived. He was conceived. In the womb. Now. Viewer. Before. Jesus Go ahead. was born. Before mm -hmm. Jesus lived. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Before Jesus mm -hmm. was born, mm -hmm. Jesus lived. That's right. That's right. There is. The begotten man. Mm -hmm. Then there is he which
which is eternal. Eternal. That's right. There is a nature to Jesus that's everlasting. That's right. If the name was already in existence before, long before, that's right. The child was born, right? Then who had it? Who had it? That's right. How did the man get it? That's right. And who gave it to him? Who? That's right. Go ahead, brother. Who had the name that gave that Messiah the right to wear? Go ahead, brother. What name did the Messiah come in? Come in. That's right. Go ahead. Brother. How did he get it? Mm -hmm. Where did it come from? Go ahead. And who gave it? Go ahead. First in Philippians. Notice the three questions. Mm -hmm. How did he get it? Right. How did he get it? Where did it come from? Go ahead. And who gave it? Who gave it? That's right. When you're able to answer all of those questions, mm -hmm. then you will find out who is this eternal Jesus. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. His name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel. Now, mm -hmm. the name. Right. Let's talk about the name. Right, right. And who had it first? Long before somebody is born. That's right. First in Philippians chapter 2. Listen. And we're at verse 9. All right. Wherefore God hath also hired. Now hold it. The name Jesus, before the flesh can wear it, a nature have to have it. Right. The flesh make reference to the spirit that's in it. And then he told you how he came. In St. John 5 and verse 43. The flesh made reference to a spirit that's in him. That's right. And then made reference how he came. In St. John 5 and at verse 43. And then we get the 17th chapter of John. Right. Listen. I come. Jesus talking. I come. In my Jesus talking. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 5 and at verse 43. Begin at verse 42. At 42. What is it? But I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. Yes. I come. I come. In my Father's name. Hold it. He represent the spirit that was in him. He was an ambassador. That's right. Sent by authority mm -hmm. to represent authority. Mm -hmm. When an ambassador from America go to China, he come in the name of that country. That's right. So here come that flesh and blood, Mary's child. That's right. Testifying of this inner man or the spirit of that's in him, mm -hmm. saying, I come. I come. In my father's name. Not the name of Joseph. No. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Not the name of Jacob. That's right. I come in my father's in name. In my father's name. And ye receive me not. Well, who was that that they reject? That's right. See, the name Jesus mm -hmm. is an exalted name. That's right. Yes, it is. Angels and devils ahead, must bow to it. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So here come the Messiah, mm -hmm. Mary's son, mm -hmm. praying to the spirit that was in him. In St. John chapter 17 and at verse 5. Listen. And now, O Father. Now. Give chapter and verse again. St. John 17. We'll start at verse 1. All right. These words spake Jesus. Glory. I want to show you a separation. Right. Between an outer man. Mm-hmm. And an inner man. That's right. The inner man always was, mm -hmm. always has been, always will be. Mm -hmm. See, there was an inner Jesus. That's right. He was the hidden man within. That's right. That's right. And the garment that the inner man was in had the name, had the label of what was in it. What was it? Mm -hmm. That's why he come along and say, I do nothing of myself. Of myself. That's right. Good master, no, why calleth thou me good? Mm -hmm. The flesh stayed away from credit. Yes, it did. Have you noticed? That's right. 
showing you a separation mm -hmm. between the human and the divine. Good master. Oh, no, what callest thou me good? good? He said, there's none good, none good. but one. one. That's right. And that one yeah. is God. Is God. Mm -hmm. Work on it. Good master. Why are you calling me call good? Me. That's right. There's none good but one. one. And that one is God. Is God. That's God. That's right. That's it. What you mean? The spirit that was in that flesh was greater in nature and power. That's right. Than the flesh itself. Mm -hmm. And the spirit had the name Jesus before the flesh came into existence. That's right. Listen. These words spake Jesus. Listen good. In St. John chapter 17 and verse 1. These words spake Jesus. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. And lift up to lift up his eyes to heaven. And said, Father. Father. The hour has come. Spirit. Mm -hmm. God. That's right. The hour has come. Glorify thy son. Glorify thy son. That thy son also may glorify thee. Glorify your minister. Mm. That's right. The title son of God don't mean that God or Jabril or Gabriel lead with the woman. No, no, no. Son of God just simply meant servant of God. That's right. Minister of God. Mm -hmm. Student of God. That's right. Listen. And said, Father, the hour is come. Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son. Glorify thy son. That thy son also may glorify thee. That that flesh may give you glory. As thou hast given him power over all flesh. Listen. As thou hast given him power over all flesh. Read quick. That he should give eternal life. That to he it. should what? He should give eternal life. To as many as thou hast given him. Now, that he should give eternal life to as many as, as, thou, hast as, as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal. What is it? That they might know thee. Listen, viewer. Mm -hmm. Listen. Listen, viewer. Mm -hmm. Viewer, give chapter and verse of this. St. John chapter 17, now we're at verse 3. This is life is eternal. Life eternal. That they might know that thee. That they might know who? Thee. That they may know thee. The only true God. That they may know the only true God. And Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. And Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. I glorify thee on now, the earth. Now he come along and prayed for them that he gave him out of the world. That's right. And said how he gave them thou name. I pray for them. Listen. In St. John 17 and that verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou hast given me. Yes. For they are thine. What is it? Now in verse 12. What is it? While I was with them in the world. While I was with them in the world. I kept them. I what? While I was with them in the world. I kept them. I kept them. In thy name. Wait a minute. Mm. You hear what Jesus saying, viewer? While I hey, listen, viewer, he's still praying here. That, that's right. Yes, he is. He's still praying. That's right. I come to thee, Holy that, Father. That, that flesh and blood says, I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name. Hey. What, you, what did it say there? Give I, chapter and verse. St. John 17, now at verse 11. He's praying, I come to thee. Holy Father. Holy Father. Keep through thine own name. Keep. Through thine own name. Those thou hast given me. That which you've given me. That they may be one as we are. Go ahead. What do you mean? One as we are. As we Holy. are. He said, I am in the Father. That's right. And the Father is in me. But what you mean one as we are? Not that it's two gods. No. That flesh was obedient and submissive. To the will of the spirit of God that was in it. That's right. And when that flesh done that which pleased God, then God approved of what that flesh done. That's right. So the we show the separation mm -hmm. of two natures. Mm -hmm. One nature was human. Right. And one nature was divine. That's right. That flesh was not God. No, no. God was in that flesh and he taught man God's name. That's right. Do you hear what John says? And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. What is it? And I am come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those thou hast given me. And that they may be one as we are. That they may be one as we are. Now in verse 6. What is it? I have manifested thy name. Wait a minute. Go ahead, brother. Jesus said what? I have manifested thy name. All right, viewer. Amen. The term Jesus Christ is God 
goes before, before the birth of the Messiah. That's right. That's right. When you men say Jesus Christ is God mm -hmm. and you started at the birth, you're wrong. Wrong. That's right. The time Jesus Christ is God is before Mary. That's right. It's before the tribe of Judah. That's right. It's before the house of David. Mm -hmm. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Did you hear what he says? I have manifested thy name. I have manifest thy name. Unto the men. Unto the men. Which thou hast given me out of the world. What name did he manifest to him? We, that's right. He didn't come to utilize no other name. No other name. That had any significance but the name of Jesus or Isa or Jesus. That's right. That's right. Jesus Christ is God. That term is correct, but it's wrong when you put it on a man and make his flesh God. That's right. That's right. That's right. His flesh was working clothes. Mm -hmm. And the book says to it God was, was in, in Christ. Christ Jesus. So now, if that flesh came in the name of God, right. how did the flesh get that name? That's it. That's it. How did he get it? Mm hmm Viewer, listen good and scratch your head. <laughs> Go ahead. How did Jesus mm -hmm. get his name? Get his name. That's right. Mary didn't name it. No, he didn't. Mm -mm. No, he didn't. Let's see how he got that name. Back First chapter, book of Hebrews. Mm -hmm. In Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 4. Listen good. Being made so much better than the angels. That's not God. No, being made. The moment you say made, that's not God. That's right. God is not made. That's right. God is everlasting. That's right. God is eternal. Mm -hmm. God is perpetual. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Jesus had local eyes and universal. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, brother. Did you get what I told you? That's right. Jesus had local vision mm -hmm. and then had eternal vision. <laughs> yes, he did. Huh? That's right. Oh, if they got his eternal vision, his eyes were 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Brighter than the sun. His local vision, see one thing at a time. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Let's see how that flesh and blood got his name. Being in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 4. It says. Being made so much better than the angels. Being made hmm. so much better than the angels. As he hath by inheritance. There you go. Amen. This is how the flesh and blood Mary's child got his name. As he hath by inheritance. As he hath by inheritance. Obtain. Obtain. A more excellent name than they. When you obtain something, someone give it to him. And given him a name. Do you hear this? In the book of Philippians chapter 2 and at verse 9. Begin at verse 8. At verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man. What did he do? He humbled himself. And what? And became obedient unto death. Even unto the death. Of the cross. What did God do? Wherefore God also. Wherefore? God, hold it. Hold it. Amen. Wherefore God. God. Mm -hmm. Hath highly. Exalted him. Exalted that man. That's right. And how did that man get his name? And given him a name. Which is above every name. How did he get it? And given him a name. Which is above every name. That spirit gave that name to the flesh. That's right. That's right. And that's how the flesh inherited. That's it. And then when the flesh took on God's name. That's right. It will manifest God's name to the people. To the people. So God can get all the credit for the work that the flesh was doing. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. The term Jesus Christ is God. Mm-hmm. Is before, before the house of David. That's right. It's long before, Way before. the tribe of Judah. That's right. It's long before mm -hmm. the Virgin Mary. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. If God, if Christ was in the prophets, in the prophets. who is the Christ? Mm. Who is this Christ? That's right. Who is the spirit that get him prophets and made them prophesy? Right. It is written that the testimony of Jesus the is the spirit of prophecy. of prophecy. That's right. Go ahead. So when religion 
say that Mary was the mother of God. Mm. Now you saying that our creator was 12. Mm. That's right. That's what you're saying. That's true. Our creator started ministry about the age of 30 or 33. Amen, my Lord. God always was a preacher. That's right. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. God always, always was a preacher. That's right. That's why he told his apostles, it's not you that speaketh, but the voice, yes, of my the father. voice, mm -hmm. the voice of my father. That speaketh in you. God. Listen, let, let, let me tell you something that will shake you. <laughs> that flesh. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That flesh Go ahead. was not mm -hmm. a preacher. That's right. That's right. That flesh. That's right, brother. Was not a preacher. The flesh profiteth nothing. Look at what Jesus said about himself. In St. John chapter 6 and at verse 63. Says what? The flesh. The flesh. Profiteth. The man. Go ahead. The son. Mm -hmm. The child. The flesh. Prophet. The prophet. That's right. That's right. That man, the flesh, profiteth nothing. Can do nothing. Nothing. But who do it? It is the spirit. That it is what? The spirit. It's what? It is the spirit that quickeneth. Amen. It's the spirit. It is the spirit that quickeneth. That same spirit Go that ahead. moved upon the face of the deep. Go ahead. That was Christ there. That's right. That's right. The flesh and blood. Go ahead, brother. Could not even reveal to the prophets on his own. On his own. Until he told Peter, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. That's right. But my father, mm -hmm. the spirit. That's right. The inner man. The inner man. The preacher. That's right. The flesh was taught. That's right. In St. John chapter 4. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Was a learned he was a learned Messiah. Yes, he was. Yeah. That's right. Jesus was taught infallible proof. That's right. That's right. Jesus was a student, student. of a master teacher. That's right. That's right. But as my father hath taught me, listen in St. John 8 and at verse 28. Get at verse 20, the 27. At verse 27. Listen. They understood not that he spake to them of the father. And they don't understand I'm talking about the father now. That's true. That's right. That's right, son. When you say father, yes. father. You say higher than heaven. Mm -hmm. Deeper than hell. That's right. Broader than the sea. Right. Longer than the earth. Mm -hmm. He is not begotten. No. He has no relatives. Mm -hmm. The clouds are the dust of his feet. Amen. Go ahead. From his mouth. Go ahead. Come a two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. From his hands mm -hmm. go forth the arrows. Go ahead. His eyes is ten thousand times brighter than the sun. That's right. His teeth go ahead. is white like milk. Go ahead. He ride upon the wings of the wind. Amen. He walk among the castles of heaven. That's right. He spread him forth the north go ahead. over an empty place. Go ahead. And he hangs the earth on nothing. nothing. That's right. That's right. All that was done. Father. Before, Before the Messiah walk here. That's right. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Right. God. Go ahead. Go ahead. They understood not. You say, mm -hmm. Mary, baby, come from heaven. Yeah. Liar. That's a lie. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Mary, baby, did not come from heaven. No, it didn't. There yes, never was flesh and blood in heaven. Never. No, no. Never. No son of God came from heaven, yet a son did come from heaven. That's right. All right. Let me say it again. Go ahead. No son of God came from heaven. Go ahead. Yet the son of God did come from heaven. That's right. 
What is it that did not come from heaven? Mm -hmm. The flesh, flesh and, blood. and blood. That's right. What is it that did come from heaven? Mm -hmm. Of the Son, His Spirit, Spirit, His breath. That's it. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Break it down. His Spirit, His breath. That's why if you look at him, he's called the second Adam. The second Adam. But look at the first Adam. Mm -hmm. First, you get a man. Right. Created in God image. Mm -hmm. Then the spirit breathes into breathes him. Into him. Yes, then the man have life. First you got the body, mm -hmm. then breath come into come it. Come into it. What was here first? Mm -hmm. The breath. The breath. That's right. That's right. Then later on, the man. That's right. Jesus is called the second Adam, the spirit was here first. Mm -hmm. Later on came the man. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual. Listen. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 we'll start at verse 45. Listen. And so it is written. It is written. The first man Adam. The first man Adam. Was made a living soul. Was made a living soul. The last Adam. The last Adam. Was made a quickening was spirit. Was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was listen not closely, first. Listen closely. Listen closely. Howbeit that was not first. That which was not first, which is spiritual, which is spiritual, but that which is but that which natural, is what natural and afterward, afterward that which is spiritual, spiritual. The first man, the first man is of the earth, is of the earth, earthly, it's earthly. The second man, the second man is the Lord, is the Lord from heaven. Why is the Lord from heaven called a man? Man, go ahead, brother. Why is the Lord from heaven mm -hmm. called a man? That's right. Because man is made in his image. In his image. That's and right. in his likeness. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. So here you had God. Mm -hmm. To quote, Jesus Christ is God. Right. If you started at Mary's baby's birth, <laughs> you were late, That's late with the quote. That's right. That's right. You started off too late. Too late. Redemption was of a necessity. Mm -hmm. The prophet could not redeem us by shedding of blood. Shedding of bl mm -hmm. The book says, mm -hmm. heaven was searched. Now let me take my time and teach you brothers and sisters. Do that. Because God showed prophets or apostles a vision in heaven. That's right. That don't mean that the actual incident always is taking place in heaven that's right that's right you can't always take it literally mm -hmm. because many times things that shown in heaven already happened already happened that's right and sometimes the things shown in heaven was to come that's right that's right are you listening in revelation chapter 5 we'll start at verse 1 it is written and i saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne i saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and a on the book back side written within and on the back side and on the back side sealed with seven seals and and i saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice said what who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals there who is worthy is there one? who is qualified that's right that's right who have the right qualifications to open the book to open you know when you open a book mm -hmm. it's beyond opening and start reading it that's right to open a book means to fulfill it that's right that's right to open it you got to be able to fulfill it mm -hmm. uh -huh. who is worthy to open the book and, and do what and to loose the seals thereof in order to loose the seals you got to open up the book and fulfill it that's right because if a thing is sealed and you open it without understanding, it's still sealed. Still sealed, that's right. That's right. You viewers. Go ahead, brother. Let me show you this. Mm -hmm. In the book of Isaiah. Someone I said, I read my Bible. That don't mean it's open. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Well, Pastor Jesus, I read the whole Bible. That don't mean it was open. That's right. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me clear up the smoke. Clear it up. Give me the Old Testament prophet. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, we're at verse 11. Listen. And the vision of all is become unto you. The vision, vision of all is come unto you. As the words of a book. As the words of a book. That is sealed. That is sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned. Now, men deliver this book to one that's educated and say, saying, read this, I pray thee. Read it, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot. But the learned man say, I can't. Why? For, for it is sealed. Yet, see, you that got your PhD and your DD and your theology. Read this. You can't see this. That's right. You just can't make it out at mm. all. At all. Mm -hmm. You got your degrees. I don't care nothing about no, de no, degrees. no degrees. Theology school. I don't care nothing about that stuff. That's right. It takes God to make a preacher. That's right. 
That's right. Even the book says Jesus of Nazareth was filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. That's right. That lets you know that flesh wasn't God. Because mm -hmm. God ain't filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. God is the Holy Ghost. That's right. Go ahead, mm -hmm. brother. Go it ahead. is written, Jesus of Nazareth was filled with, with the, the Holy Ghost. Ghost. That's right. God is not filled with the Holy Ghost. No. God is the Holy Ghost. That's right. That flesh and blood was not God. Mm -hmm. God was in him. Yeah. And the flesh and blood manifest God's name. That's right. What did he say there? Read this, I pray thee. Read it, educated fellow, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot. I can't. For it is sealed. It's sealed up. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Now, notice those that are learned can't get it and those that are unlearned in the same class. Listen. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned. And saying, Read this, I pray read thee. Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. For the Lord has poured out upon you. The Lord has poured out upon you. The spirit of deep sleep. Uh, That's right. You are lazy eyed preachers. Yes. Vision is blurred. That's right. That's right. But this is why you got two and three gods in heaven. Mm -hmm. And you make the quote loosely, Jesus Christ is God, but yet can't analyze it. So therefore, you make him the second person in the Godhead, or you make that flesh and blood God himself. That's right. That's right. Heaven was searched. Back in Revelation 5 and at verse Earth three. was searched. And no man in heaven. No man in heaven. Nor in earth. No in earth. Neither under the earth. Neither under the earth. Was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And what happened? And I wept much. Listen, that brother John. And now, I, mm -hmm. Revelation mm -hmm. is a threefold book. Yes, it is. Dealing with past, present, mm -hmm. and future events. That's right. Listen. And and, and I wept much. Because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. Then what? Neither to look thereon. And one of the elders spake to him and said, Weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah. What did he do? The root of David hath prevailed. Hold it. Mm -hmm. The moment the elder made that statement, the elder told John it was already fulfilled. That's right. Do you hear what the elder said? Weep not, behold, the lion of the John, tribe of don't Judah. cry. One of the elders saith unto me, Weep One of the not. elders said, Don't cry. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. What did he do? The root of David hath prevailed. He did it already. Hath prevailed. Hath. He already done it. That's now right. remember, the one that's seeing this walk with him. That's right. Yes, he did. He already walked with him. That's right. He already talked with him. That's right. He already witnessed his death. Mm -hmm. So what he's actually showing John happened already. That's right. That's right. He already came and prevailed Has and prevailed. opened the book and he already loosed already. the seven seals thereof. And I beheld and I looked and lo in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts what? and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. That lets you know it already happened. That, that, that lets you know he rose and already ascended. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Listen, Villa. Go ahead. And there I stood a lamb. There ain't no lamb in heaven. Stood a lamb. Go ahead. John says, What? Stood a lamb. No, back up. And I beheld. I beheld. And lo, in the, and midst, lo in the midst of the throne and of, of the four the beasts. Throne and, of the four beast. and in the midst of the elders what? stood a lamb. There is no lamb in heaven. No. Go ahead, brother. Mm. So, so the Bible says, Stood a lamb. Stood a Symbolically. Lamb. What That's does right. the lamb represent? That's right. That Savior, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. The sacrifice. That's right. Seeing the lamb mm -hmm. seals the fact mm -hmm. that connection been made. That's right. By linking man to God. Oh God. How did you do it? Go Behold. Ahead. That's right. The Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. Behold the sacrifice of God. That's right. Behold the man of God. That's right. Behold mm -hmm. the prophet of God. Prophet. See, listen. Mary's son was a prophet. That's right. And an apostle. That's right. God wasn't neither. Amen. That's An true. apostle must be taught and sent. That's right. You can't send God. No. And you no, can't no. teach him. You can't teach him. Go ahead, brother. Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 1. Wherefore, uh, you see that brother, man mm -hmm. was an apostle right. and a prophet. That's right. Moses said, God shall raise up unto you from among your brethren, mm -hmm. one like me, That's a prophet right. from among you. 
Him shall you hear in all things. It wasn't going to raise up God. No. No, no, no. God already was here. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. I want to take my time and strip Wait, mm -hmm. the bark from the tree. That's right. Go, hmm? ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Hmm? Go ahead. Yeah, you get what I'm telling you. In Hebrews 3, you got the tree. And you got the bark. Yeah. The spirit was the tree. Go ahead. Flesh was the bark. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Flesh was just the bark. Go ahead. Spirit was the tree of life. That's right. In St. John 15. Flesh just was the bark. Yes. The cover. Mm-hmm. Go hmm? ahead, man. Go ahead. Glory to God. St. John chapter 15 in that verse 1. Listen. I am the true vine. I am. Go ahead. The true vine. My father. He showed you what role he was sent to play. That's it. That's it. Go ahead. He sent the Messiah to be a true vine. Go ahead. So what did you send him to do? Mm -hmm. Cover. Choke yes. and destroy. Go ahead. That's the nature of a vine. That's right. It covers you. That's right. And it chokes life. Mm -hmm. And destroy plant life. Go ahead, man. But he's a true vine. True vine. Go ahead. But how did he get there? I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. Planting of the Lord. Mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like my father is what? Is the true. My is the father husband man. is the husband man. Husbandry is farming. Yes. Right. Son of God was planted. planted. He was a planted seed called the seed of David. Seed of David. That's planted right. in the earth of Mary's body. That's right. In the tribe of Judah. Who planted him there? Mm -hmm. God. God. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Cohen so said, You mean to tell me that God created spam? Hmm. And and a egg and a woman. My Lord. Oh yes. Oh yes. Go ahead, brother. When a child is born. It's born to produce sperm. That's, How that's did it true. get that? God created it. God created it. That, when, that, I, when a girl is born, she's born to produce eggs. That's right. How did it get that? Mm -hmm. God created it. How shall this be? So God Almighty. Go ahead, brother. Planted a male child seed. Mm -hmm. To fertilize the egg of the earth. That's right. Go ahead. Why did he do it that way? Go ahead. Showing man it takes spirit mm. to be born again. That's right. You got to be fertilized by the works of the spirit. The spirit. That's right. That's right. Do you get the revelation of it? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. He come to David's house. Mm-hmm. It's establishing law mm -hmm. to Abraham house That's right. that everyone, including your seed and stranger, That's right. that come under your roof, mm -hmm. must be circumcised. Why, Lord? Go because ahead. there's a seed that's coming. Go ahead. A Gentile seed. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be related to you? By faith. By faith. Go ahead. I'm going to circumcise your seed by the flesh. Go ahead. But there's a Gentile seed got to be circumcised of the heart. Of the heart. So now everybody that come under your roof got to get the same thing. That's right. To get in the church, you got to get the same got thing. the same thing. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go get ahead. in God's church. Go ahead. Got to get the same thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. In Romans chapter 2. God mm -hmm. fertilize yes. the egg mm -hmm. of the earth. Of the earth. That's right. Just like God mm -hmm. brought Adam's body from fertile ground. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. The earth is called mother. Mother. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hmm? That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The earth is called mother. Mm -hmm. Being called mother because the earth yield, it produce, Produces. it bring forth what? Life. Life. The earth is called mother. That's right. So here come Adam. Mm -hmm. First man. First man. Made in God's image. That's right. See, you viewers, that got three gods. The reason why God made one man in the beginning to establish how many was in heaven. That's right. And he said, let us make man and listen, this is after he said, let us mm -hmm. make man in our image. Our image. 
after our likeness. Our likeness. To better understand it, you that got three, I want you to pause, go to the mirror, mm -hmm. and look at your image. That's right. Now come back to the television and tell me how many you see. Amen. Amen. How many did you see? Mm -hmm. You saw one. Saw one. Man was made in God's image so the world can know it's one that rules supreme. That's right. That's right. Why did a woman come from man first? first. Mm -hmm. That let you know that only God Go ahead. has the power to produce, to produce life. That's right. That's right. Look at the chain reaction. Go God, God, man, mm -hmm. woman, woman, the nation. That's right. That's right. Without a woman, you don't have a nation. That's right. Go ahead. If you have no woman, you have no nation. No nation. That's right. A man can't uh, produce no children on his own. On his own. No, no. God didn't craft his body mm -hmm. to birth no child. No, no, no. Man is designed to put forth and the woman is designed to what? Bring forth. Bring forth. That's right. So here you have this mother earth. Mm -hmm. When God made the earth, everybody was there. That's right. Oh, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. My birthday is this, my birthday is that. Yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. When God made the earth, the earth. That's right. When the earth was made, mm -hmm. all of you were there. That's right. That's right. I beheld the earth. I was there. That's right. And you may not like me, but I was there. Amen. Amen. That's right. Charles Darwin was there. Mm. The liar of evolution. Amen. God saw the monkey coming. That's right. <laughs> what do you mean, Pastor Jennings? If you are a seamstress, a tailor, you want to make a suit or a dress, what do you do? You go buy a roll of material. Right. You got your dress. Mm -hmm. You got your suit. That's right. You just haven't fashioned it yet. Right. You have to form it. That's right. You have to shape it. Shape it. But you got it. Mm-hmm. That's right. Jeremiah said I in Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 23. I looked. I beheld the earth. And I saw the planet. And lo. And lo. It was without form. There was no form there. And void. And there was void. And the heavens. They, and they had no light. But he saw the earth. I beheld the earth. He saw the planet. Right. But he didn't see no life there. That's right. But here come God. How did he make man? From the dust of the ground. Of the ground. The material was there. That's right. Just as grass differ in texture, so does man hair. Mm. Huh? That's right. Glory to God. Go ahead. Just as a man veins is all through his body, mm -hmm. so are streams of water that break off from another body of water. My oh, Lord. Just as man's pupil is surrounded by the white of his eyes, mm -hmm. just like islands is compassed about with water. My Lord. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Enoch said man intelligence is made from the swiftness of angels. Why? Angels are like wind. They go in various directions. So does man capacity to think. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The prophet said he made his bones like the stone. Mm. Because stones are firm and yeah. stones can frame up a building. That's right. It is written. That's right. The apostle Paul said by faith, mm -hmm. worlds framed. were framed, framed by the words of God. That's right. Go ahead, brother. To better understand God, understand his creation. That's right. Here you have Jesus, mm -hmm. born of a woman, mm -hmm. in the house of David, house of David, in the tribe of Judah. That's right. The flesh was called the true vine. Mm -hmm. The flesh was called son of man. Right. And the flesh was called son of God. Son of God. That's right. Son of man. Mm -hmm. Son of God. Son of man. Mm -hmm. Mean he's the son of a prophet. That's right. 
Who was this prophet that he was the son of? Mm -hmm. The son of David. Son of David. Because he came from the house that David was the father of. That's right. It is written of the throne of who? Of his, his father, father David. David. There shall be no end. Mm. Son of man means son of a prophet. Right. Son of God mm. means servant of the spirit. The, spirit. Mm. the Messiah is sent. Go ahead. Go ahead. No one sends God. Right. No, no, no. The Messiah was a prophet. That's right. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. The flesh and blood was the prophet. The spirit that was in it was prophecy. Lord. Mm. <laughs> you get what I'm telling you? Go ahead. The flesh and blood was the prophet. The spirit that was in it was prophecy. My Lord. Because no man can prophesy by God permission mm. without the spirit in him. That's the spirit right. calls him to prophecy, the prophesy prophecy. or bring forth prophecy. That's the moving of the spirit. Uh -huh. The man can be the prophet. Right. But the message has to be God. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. The spirit. Listen, Bill. Mm. Prophecy was here. Before the prophet. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Isaiah prophecy was here before the prophet. That's right. When you say Jesus Christ is God, and your introduction is when that child was born, born. you're too late. That's right. He been God mm -hmm. before the child got here. Before. That's right. Go ahead, brother. The child come through 42 generations. Mm -hmm. He was prophesied about. That's it. The work that God will do through that child, mm -hmm. the prophets spoke about. Mm -hmm. That's why it is written that the testimony of Jesus yes. is the spirit of prophecy. They would talk about what he would do. Mm. Mm. A rod shall come forth out of the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots. A rod will come forth from Jesse's stem. That's right. From Jesse's stem. stem. That right. means something had to stem off from Jesse. Mm -hmm. What stemmed off from Jesse? David. David. Mm. The rod came from Jesse's stem. Right. A rod right. shall grow forth from the stem Jesse. of Jesse. What stemmed from Jesse? David. What came from David? The rod. That's right. Did you get what I'm telling you? And there shall come forth a rod. Listen! In Isaiah chapter 11 and at verse 1. Why is Jesus called a rod? Rod. A rod is a staff, a scepter. Scepter. Showing power of a king. That's right. The scepter should not depart from Judah. Mm -hmm. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come and under him shall the gathering of the people be. Then he said, binding his foal to the vine. That's right. And he says, his ass is coat to the choice vine. Choice vine. When did he bind his foal to the vine? the vine? When he gathered the people to himself. That's they was gathered to the vine. Who was the vine? The true vine. The true vine. That's right. He rode upon the colt. That's right. Didn't he do so? Yes, he did. Glory to God. Go ahead, brother. The book says what? And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. The prophets talking about the arrival of the Messiah, not the arrival of God. No, no, no. God used the prophets to prophesy of what he would work in. That's right. That's right. That's right. The rod shall come forth out, out, out of, of the stem, stem of Jesse, Jesse and, and a, a branch. And a what? A branch. A branch. Shall grow out of his roots. God don't grow. No. No, no. <laughs> but the flesh and blood grows. Grew. That's right. The branch shall grow out of his roots. And what? And the spirit of there the Lord. There it is. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit. The spirit of the of Lord. Of the Lord shall do what? Shall rest upon him. That's how he done it. That's right. He came from the wound of the woman. The spirit of the Lord rest upon Shall him. Shall rest upon him. And what did the spirit give him? The, the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. And understanding. And understanding. The spirit of counsel. And counsel. And might. And might. The spirit of knowledge. The spirit of knowledge. And of the fear of the Lord. God don't fear himself. No. No, no. 
But the spirit of the fear of the Lord was upon the man. And shall make him. What? And shall make and him. And shall make him. Of quick understanding. That's right. Go ahead, brother. His understanding was given to him. That's right. And he was able to understand things quick. Quick. That's right. The spirit defines understanding. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Huh? And shall make him. God made him. Of quick of understanding. Quick understand it. in the fear of the Lord in the fear of God and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes hold up <laughs> Go ahead. I do nothing of myself. myself that's right Glory to God. He he what he said. and he shall do not nothing. judge Go ahead. I can't even judge something by the sight of my eyes after the sight of his eyes I can't look at nothing on my own accord that, that's right I can't look at nothing by my own opinion that's right I can't give my listen Jesus went so far as saying this doctrine mm -hmm. is not mine it's not mine but his that sent me it's not mine that's what he said I am not responsible that's right for the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ that's what I he am said. not responsible that's right for the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues that's right I am not responsible amen hallelujah Jesus answered them. Hallelujah. Go ahead. I'm not responsible. My doctrine is not mine. I can't walk on water. That's right. Why? I can't do nothing on myself. Not, that's right. Go ahead, brother. But Jesus, you said, I am the resurrection. Mm -hmm. I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. Who said it? Who said it? Who's talking? That's right. He said, I do nothing, nothing of, myself. of myself. And if he can do nothing on his own, he couldn't get himself up on his own. Right. No, he couldn't. Spirit had to get in there. That's right. The spirit got in there and did what he done to Adam. Mm -hmm. Resurrect him from the dead. From the dead. That's right. Huh? That's right. He resurrect him from the dead. That's right. Adam, when he was made, listen, viewer. The first man was a dead living man. Mm -hmm. When God made Adam, Adam introduced man's beginning and man's ending. That's right. When he made Adam, he was the first man. The first man. But the condition that that man was in, he had no breath, so he was dead. dead. The That's book right. says he became he a living soul. That's so what right. state he was in before he became alive, he was dead. Dead. Showing you the body without the spirit it, is it. dead. Right. A man that don't have God is a dead man. Dead man. That's right. That's right. So God breathed. And, it is and God and Adam breathed into him. And resurrect him. That's right. And he went down to the grave and done the same thing. That's, That's right. right. Same thing. Quicken Jesus. Quicken him. That's right. He got up. Go didn't he do so? That's right. Go ahead, brother. There's a separation mm -hmm. between the human and the, and the divine. And the divine. Viewers, go ahead. There's a separation mm -hmm. between God and Pastor Jennings. That's right. There's a separation. That's right. Yes, it is. Between God. That's right. And Brother Williams. That's right. Between God and Brother Raj. That's right. Between God and Brother Taj. Mm -hmm. There's a separation. Amen. Taj is the outer man. Mm -hmm. God is the inner man. God is the inner man. Go ahead. The man bear the title preacher. That's right. But God is the actual preacher. He's the preacher. That's right. Go ahead. Bear the title. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Jesus was called Prince. God is not a prince. God is not a prince. What is a prince? Go ahead. One that's waiting to be king. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Prince inherits his kingdom Kingship. from his father the king that's right and then when the king died he gave the kingdom over over to the prince that's it here come the prince all power all power is given unto me given given unto me who gave it to you and the king the king that's right that's spirit right. gives it to him. All power is given unto me. What do you mean the spirit gave it to him? The spirit got that body up. That's gave right. it power mm -hmm. so it can move. Yeah. Then he come up. Mm -hmm. I have not yet ascended mm -hmm. to my God. That's right. And your, and God, your God. My father. And your father. And your father. That's right. But you tell my disciples I have this ascended. Have That's right. What you mean, Jesus? <laughs> Jesus, what you mean? Mm -hmm. 
You going to tell me you have not yet ascended. Jesus saith unto her Listen. in the book of St. John chapter 20 and at verse 17. What is it? Jesus saith unto her, touch me not. Jesus said unto her, touch me not. Don't touch me. For I am not yet ascended to my father. Listen, Listen closely. I have not yet. I have not yet ascended, ascended to my father. To God. But go to my brother. I have not yet ascended to God. That's right. I have not yet ascended to my father. That's right. But, but when go, you go to the brothers, this is what I want you to tell my disciples. And say unto them, I ascend unto my father. But wait a minute, what did he say? I, I am not yet ascended to my father. But when you go to them, what I want you to say? I ascend unto my father. But while I'm talking to you, what I'm saying? I am not yet ascended to but my father. But when you father. go to them, what I want you to say? I ascend unto my father. Which is it? That's right. It's both. Go ahead, brother. I have not yet ascended. I have not yet ascended to my father. But you tell them. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend I unto ascend. my father. Well, what do you mean, Jesus, you have not ascended? Not yet ascended. What do you mean, I, 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 you have not ascended? That's right. I haven't yet went up far above all heavens. That's it. That's what right. do you mean that you did ascend? But I am back from the dead. That's it. My journey of ascension is just ain't finished. See, once I come up from the lower parts of the earth and come back on the earth, my, my traveling plans is not over. I got some work to do still on earth. That's right. And then I will ascend That's far right. above all heavens. Above all heavens. Go ahead, brother. In the book of Revelation, mm -mm. Go ahead. there was one scene riding Go ahead, on a white horse. That's right. Written on the sty. Mm -hmm was the word of God. It says how he was clothed with the vex. And I saw heaven open. Listen. In the Listen, viewers. In the book of Revelation chapter 19 and at verse 11. Glory to God. And I saw heaven open. I want to show you the white horse. Yes. And I want to show you what was on the sty. Right. Listen good. Revelation 19 at verse 11. All right. And I saw heaven opened. Now listen, viewers. Let me teach you. Mm -hmm. When God showed the apostles and prophets things in heaven that doesn't mean that the event always was taking place while they was looking at it that's right to every vision there is an appointed time that's right we'll show you that in the book of Habakkuk mm -hmm. to every vision there is an appointed time that's right where change will come. Mm -hmm. Listen. And I saw heaven open. I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse. A glory to God. A white horse. A white horse. And he that sat upon Hold him. Hold it. Mm -hmm. It ain't no natural horse in heaven. No. No. Someone say, well, the Bible said it was a horse. Mm -hmm. And that means a horse up there. Amen. Yeah, okay. When a horse die, which is a beast, this spirit don't go upward. That's right. That's right. The book said the spirit of a beast go downward. Go downward. Downward. So the horse is symbolic. That's right. Why a horse is too little mm. for God. That's true. God is higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. Mm -hmm. You walk around and actually thank God that literally riding around heaven on a horse. On horse. You're not a preacher. That's true. You're not a preacher. That's right. Why would God be seen on a horse? Because God's title and the horse go together. Right. In the Old Testament. Go ahead, brother. When one become a king, mm -hmm. you have to take the horse of the king right. and ride through the kingdom. Right. That's right. Let everybody know That's right. there's a new king, a new king. coming on a throne. Mm -hmm. Thank God when Adonijah mm -hmm. rose up. Rose up. And made himself That's right. king. That's right. Long before David was dead, mm -hmm. Nathan the prophet That's right. came and told the king, the king. Have you not said mm -hmm. that Solomon your son shall reign after, after you? you? And Anonijah declared himself king. Yes. That's right. David said, I'm old and feeble. Mm -hmm. Nathan, go get my horse. Get horse. That's right. Place my son on it. That's right. Ride on it. Ride on it. Ride 
freedom to the kingdom. kingdom. That's right. What does a king or the white horse mean? God is triumphant. That's right. God is triumphant. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. That's what that means. What that means. He's a triumphant God. That's right. The kingdom is his. Mm -hmm. The earth is the Lord's. That's right. And the fullness thereof. Yes. Heaven and earth belong to him. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Listen. And I saw heaven open. I saw heaven open. And behold a white and horse. And behold a white horse. And he that and sat upon he him. he that sat upon Was called faithful. Was called faithful. And true. And true. And in righteousness he doeth judge and, and make war. And in righteousness he judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes. Mm. Can judge him. That's right. His eyes. His eyes. Can comfort you. That's right. His eyes. Oh, can keep you. Go ahead. So I said, there's a flame of fire. Look at what fire do. It comforts you when it's cold. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. It'll burn you up. Mm -hmm. It'll keep you feeling comfortable. That's right. And it'll consume you when it get out of control. That's right. Go ahead. Listen. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And what? And on his head were many crowns. You see that? Not on his That's head. exactly what I'm talking about. On his head were on many a horse. crowns. What do you mean? All nations is under his feet. That's right. Many crowns. Many crowns. That means he ruled every nation. Mm -hmm. He's king of kings. You see, many crowns. Mm -hmm. He's king of kings. Of kings. That's right. That's why the prophet said, and there was a young man. That's right. I saw a number. That no man can no number. Man can number. And in the midst of that number was a young man, tall. That's right. Taller than they all. High and lifted High up. Lifted up. That's right. And I asked, who was it? Who was it? And the angel said, it was the Son, the of, Son God. of God. That's right. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. See, Jesus being made mm -hmm. so much better, better than, the, than angels. the angels because the angels had one nature, Jesus had dual natures. Yes, he did. That's right. The outer the part was man, mm -hmm. yes. the inner part was God. Was God. Yes, sir. Listen. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And, and on his head were many crowns. Yeah. And he had a name written. He had a name written. That no man knew but he himself. That no man knew but he himself. You can say the name Jesus and still don't know it. Don't know it. That's right. That's right. Don't want to say it. If I say it, I know it. That don't mean that. No. Because you say it. That don't mean you know it. That's right. Because it's more than a name. Mm -hmm. It's a work involved. That's right. So saying the name, but don't know the work. Well, go to saying the name. That's right. Listen. And he had a name written that, and? that no man knew. What is but it? But he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Hold it. Amen. This happened already. It's already happened. He was clothed with a vesture. With a vesture. Dipped in dipped blood. In blood. And his name is called. His name was called. The Word of God. The Word. When was he clothed with a vesture? Go ahead. When was he dipped in blood? Dipped in blood. Well, he was on the cross. He was on the cross. That's right. Somebody told me some nut said that scripture meant he took blood into heaven once. Hmm. There is no blood in heaven. No blood in heaven. When was this act fulfilled? So he was clothed with a vexture, dipped in Dip, blood. Dipped in blood. Then John went on to say, written up on his thigh. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and he hath on his vesture. Listen, listen. In Revelation 19 and verse 16. What is it? And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written. King of kings. King of kings. And Lord of lords. Lords of lords. Of lords. Mm -hmm. Then further down, he said, written on his thigh was the word of God. Right. The question is, why on his thigh? On his thigh. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take it literally, you will think something is carved in the skin, like That's right. tattooing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Written on his thigh. Go ahead. King of kings. King of kings. Lord, and Lord of lords. Of lords. Also written on this time mm -hmm. was the word of God. The word of God. What do his thigh represent? This is what I mean by taking him apart. Right. <laughs> what?
What is the thighs Go ahead. of a structure? A structure. Mm -hmm. The pillars or columns. That's right. That's the thighs of it. That's right. Even Solomon said her thighs are as the pillars, pillars. of David. That's right. So the thighs of a building mm -hmm. is the pillars. Right. Support. Mm -hmm. The thighs supports the body. That's right. It carries the it carries. body. That's right. On a thigh, mm -hmm. King of Kings. Lord he Lord. that is head of the body is King. He that is Lord of the church is King. Written upon his thigh. Mm -hmm. Word of the church is supported by the word. By the word. That's thigh right. is support. Mm -hmm. That's right. Structure. That's right. Brain structure That's to right. the body of Christ. That's right. Go ahead. When you take it literally, you think it's something printed on them. Print. Amen. That's not a preacher. No. You thank God they're riding around on a horsey. <laughs> That's right. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. Many events have already took place, yet it was seen mm -hmm. in heaven. In heaven. This is why it is written in the book of Revelation. Because when you read it, it has to be revealed so you can properly explain. explain. That's right. Are you listening? And I saw heaven opened. Do you hear this? And behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doeth judge and, and make war. In righteousness he judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And, and on his head were many crowns. Many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vest. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Right. He had a name that nobody knew. And he had a name written that no man knew. The question is, when did that take place? Hmm. Because that's already gone. That's right. Mm. There was a time he had a name that nobody knew but he himself. No man knew but he himself. That don't apply now. Not not now. That's right. Huh? That's true. That don't apply now. That's right. Because he sent the apostles out of his name. That's right. So that's past. That's past. He went all the way back before revelation before. of his name came. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? That's something. What he read dealt with past, present, and future. That's right. Clothed with a vesture. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. When did it happen? That's past. That's past. That's something, brother. What is a vesture? Mm hmm. What is a vesture? A garment. A garment. Equivalent to a veil. By in Hebrews 10 and verse 20. That's I, what a vexture is. That's right. A garment, like a vet. Listen. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 20. Says what? By a new and living way. How did he do it? Which he hath consecrated for us. Wait, wait a minute. He did what? Which he hath consecrated for us. The new and living way. How is it? Which he hath consecrated for us. Through what? Through the veil. What is that veil? That is to say, his flesh. That's the vexture. That's, that's the vexture. That was dipped in blood. That's right. Huh? That's right. His flesh. His flesh. Was the veil. Mm -hmm. Dipped in blood. Yeah. Mm. Not that he took blood in heaven. No. Listen to everything that's cause and effect. That's right. Blood is for redemption. That's right. Why would he need it in heaven? Who up there gonna be redeemed? Right. Amen. Well, the fallen angels, they're gonna be judged by the church. Be judged by the church. That's right. What if God said that the church shall judge angels? Judge angels. That's right. Hmm. Redemption is for earth. Go ahead, brother. Blood was shed for earth. That's right. Without the shedding of blood. No remission of sins. There's no remission of sins. No it's for earth. Unto him that loved us. Three that bear witness on earth. Mm -hmm. Spirit, water, and blood. blood. Three that bear witness on earth. On earth. On earth. On earth. On earth. On earth. That's right. What's recorded in heaven mm -hmm. is not natural. It's not natural. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. And he was clothed with a vesture. What Jesus? Hmm. Are you serving? Do you know who he is? Do you know who he is? Jesus had age. Mm hmm And Jesus didn't have age. That's right. That which overshadowed Mary was Jesus. No age. No age. That which Mary birthed was Jesus that had name and was created. Yeah, that's right. One 
was a creator, mm. the other was the creature. Someone said, that's two Jesus. No. No, no. One Jesus. One Jesus. Inside of a suit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. That's all that was. Go ahead. The suit that he put on was flesh. That's right. Go ahead, man. I'm Geno Jennings. You know who I am. That's why you don't like me. <laughs> this is Geno Jennings' suit. Mm -hmm. I put it on tonight. You put, you put it on. Now, if my suit start moving and I'm not in it, mm -hmm. how many gonna stay in here? All gone. That's right. So I had to put it on. Took upon him. I did what? Took upon him the form of a servant. That's what you do. That's right. When you put your suit on, it got a form. You got to take it on. That's right. That's what God did. Mm -hmm. God didn't take on God. No. No, no. God took upon him the form of a servant. The form of a human being. And was not, not listen, mm -hmm. not that God became a human being. No. No more than I become my suit. That's right. That's right, sir. That brother there, with his hand for raise your hand, brother. He could, he took on a jacket with a hood. Yeah. He knocked the jacket. He knocked the jacket. When he raised his hand, his hood went up. That's right. If his hood go up without his hand, he gonna pull that jacket off. Yes, he will. <laughs> Glory to God, and I'm not gonna help him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's yeah. Go ahead. I saw Jesus was mm -hmm. flesh and blood, created by the Spirit of God. And his flesh was superior to all other men. All other men. That's right. Only his flesh is perfect. Mm -hmm. Only his flesh, infallible. Infallible. Only his flesh didn't have a flaw. That's right. Only his flesh mm -hmm. was without spot. That's right. And without blemish. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. Listen. In Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14. For as much then. As, As the, the children, children are partakers of flesh and blood. What did Jesus do? He also himself likewise took part of the same. He took part of the same. That through death. That through death. He might destroy him that had the power of death. And who was it? That is the devil. He took part of the same. He took part of it. Part of it. That's right. Well, what part of man's flesh he didn't take? Mm -hmm. Man's sinful nature. That's right. He didn't take on man's sin. No. If Jesus was equal to everybody else, then anybody could have died for you. Mm -hmm. His blood was superior That's to right. all. To all. That's why John said about Jesus, not of blood. That's right. Eh? <laughs> That's right. Not of not, blood. Not of blood. Nor mm. of the will of the, of the flesh. flesh. Nor of the will of man. Did you hear this? That's right. Nor of the will of man, but. But of God. Come on, say, but of God. God. But he says, not of blood. Not of blood. Not of it. That's right. What do you mean? He didn't come along like everybody else. Which were born. Do you hear this? In St. John 1 and verse 13. What is it? Which were born. That's not God. No, it's not. God don't have a birthday. That's right. Hmm? That's right. The term Jesus Christ is God is correct. Mm -hmm. But the religious world analogy is wrong. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You start that quote off when Jesus was born. Right. He was God long before Mary even got here. That's right. That's right. The eternal God had the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he is Christ. He is Christ. Because he was in the prophets. That's right. He just manifests that name after the Messiah got here. That's right. Because he won a perfect and infallible representation of himself. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Moses was good, but he had a flaw. He had a flaw in him. Mm. Mm? That's right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Moses was good, but he had a flaw. For David, David was good. Yeah. David had a flaw. Mm -hmm. Judah was good. Mm -hmm. Had a flaw. Solomon was good. Yeah. Had a flaw. Yeah. Enoch was good, but Enoch had a flaw. Enoch Bro said, what? <laughs> Enoch had a flaw, but each Bible said he had a testimony that pleased God. Yeah, pleased God. but he still had a flaw. Still had a flaw. He was born in the world with sin. That's right. And shaped in iniquity. Iniquity. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Elijah was translated, but he had a flaw. He had a flaw. He had Adamic nature on him. Amen. Glory to God. That's right. Hmm? Go ahead. Why you think heaven was searched? Mm -hmm. I had to find someone that's different from everybody that's different else. From everybody. Couldn't find no one, so what did he do? Make the man. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. The book says he brought salvation by his own by his arm. Own. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? He brought it by his own power. Own power. But why use the term arm? 
He brought salvation by his own arm. Why? It took the arm of God to pull man up out of the darkness of his sin. That's right. That's right. Brought it by his own arm. I got to pull man up. And with that same arm, after I pull him up, I got the title comforter so I would embrace him. Go ahead, brother. Pull him up and embrace him. Go ahead. And then hold him close to myself. That's it. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Why? I pull him with my own arm. Own arm. Pull him up. Go ahead. Draw him to myself. Mm. He's ahead. just a child. He need me to carry him. Yeah. And in due time, I set him down. Show him how to walk. That's right. And when he wobbled, I take my arm. Put him back in place. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's Go why ahead. the book says he brought salvation. By his own arm. By his own arm. His own. What is salvation? Freedom. That's right. Deliverance. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. Go ahead, go ahead. The term Jesus Christ is God is correct. Mm -hmm. You blind preachers, your analogy is wrong. That's, that's right. Mary, baby, came from heaven. From heaven. Your fool and slow of heart, <laughs> flesh and blood, they never came from heaven. No. The prophecy of the arrival of that baby came from heaven, that's and right. the spirit that spirit. was in that baby, that came from heaven. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. And the spirit that came from heaven was not a son. No, it wasn't. It was the breath of the son. That's right. If you say that spirit was the son, then you got to say that spirit was begotten. Begotten. And when you say that spirit was begotten, right. you're saying God was begotten. That's right. Because God is the breath of man nostrils. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Or if they got the book says that man's not the spirit mm -hmm. of, of his nostrils. Of his nostrils. That's, that's the Lord. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Man. When God breathed the man and he became a living soul, that's God just came into man. Came into man. That's right. And when God come out of man, man died. Mm -hmm. Jesus was a puppet. <laughs> The spirit was the puppet master. That's right. Huh? That's right. Whatever string the spirit pull, the body get busy. Mm -hmm. The spirit pull the string, tell him, move the stone away. Amen. Spirit move the body mouth. Lazarus, come forth. That's it. Can't do <laughs> nothing right. else. That's right. Just a puppet. That's right. Master want to show his greatness. He gets the puppet. Mm -hmm. Put it out there on water. Out there. Let him walk. <laughs> Lord, suffer me to come out. Spirit raise a hand in the puppet. That's right. Come on. That's right. That's when right. When he say I do nothing of myself, of myself, it means just that. Amen. Nothing. Right. Nothing. God is able to do all things. It's a separation mm -hmm. between human and divine. And divine. Between the outer man. And the inner man. That's right. Jesus Christ being God is in existence mm -hmm. before Mary ever was in the world. In the world. That's right. Thank you for listening, <laughs> brothers and sisters. We certainly bear witness. Yes, sir. There is no God but one. We're not worshiping no flesh and blood. No, sir. It is written, they that worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. For God seeketh such the wish of him. What Jesus are you serving? Some of you serving a clay in someone's yard or down in the chapel in the hospital? All you hear is statues crying, statues bleeding. Don't be a fool. You're bleeding. And you're crying. Let these sayings sink into your ears. I know many may not be able to keep up with what was analyzed tonight, but in due time, you can order the message That's right. to have a better understanding about Jesus. Brother told me how one false prophet read the scripture, clothes of vex had dipped in blood, and the fellow said, Jesus took blood in heaven just one time. For what? 
when he's going to grab blood that's like some preacher in Titusville, Florida said the Lord when he went up to heaven took buckets of heaven of blood with him and painted it all around the throne now the Lord master in graffiti when you talk about blood you got to know the connection with blood in Jesus and outside of what Jesus said blood represent you can't utilize it for nothing else blood is not shed to cast out devils so you have no business standing over no one saying the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus the, the apostles didn't do that they fought the devil and said in the name of Jesus Christ never had no time did they lay hands on someone and say the blood is against you the blood I command you by the blood to come out no blood ain't designed to cast out a spirit blood is designed to wash your sins away it takes spirit the fight spirit that's why he said I come in the name of the Lord not I come in blood that's why it says pray with the spirit and pray with understanding many yelling over people in the blood the blood of Jesus shut up you got the wrong you're using the wrong solution hmm? using the wrong solution that's like when a fire a forest fire start sometimes water don't do it you know what some firemen do? They start a fire on another end. Right. So that fire can come up against that fire and make it go out. Right. Take spirit to fight spirit. Yes, sir. Take God to fight the devil. Oh. Not blood. Oh. He said whatsoever you do and word and deed do all through the blood of Jesus. Oh. And the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh. You got a preacher laying hands on you. The blood. The devil gonna stay there. Yes, he ain't moving devil in you all nice <laughs> the blood is not designed cast out a spirit takes the spirit of God to cast out spirits brothers that minister always remember this take this back to West Africa and other areas when you see your brothers in Jamaica laying hands on folk yelling, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. When they done, pull them to the side. Ask them, brother, this blood too was for, shed for redemption or to cast out a devil? Do it the way Jesus did it. That's right. Hmm? That's right. By the name of Jesus Christ, whom Paul preached, come out of him. Uh, yeah, yeah, not by the blood Amen. this goes back to what I was saying proper use of the name proper use of the name all of us came from some church where some nut was yelling the blood of Jesus some of us probably was ministers doing it Lay hands on folk, jumping, screaming. You're going to scare the devil out. Fella looking over you, he getting scared. All these men got their hands on your head. Y'all ah! Another one, another one. All that action. <laughs> Just call the name and get rid of all the antics. I pray for someone one day. And they said, Pastor Jenna, why are you ain't yelling and screaming? I said, for what? The devil hear me. I can't yell him out. You can yell at the top of your lung. They ain't going. Listen, the devil ain't scared of your noise. The devil ain't scared of your noise. Well, it's the name of the Lord Jesus that's used the right way. Yes. When, that, when he started getting hit with that the right way, he, he started backing up. Yes. Well, you ain't using the right way, he'll step to you and make mockery of the name. Yes. 
never at no time lay hands on someone and yell the blood of Jesus. Do it the way Jesus and the apostles done it. Otherwise than that, put your hands in your pocket. All right, brothers and sisters, God gave us all some good stuff tonight.